Peggy 3. Cities in Motion 2 is all about the mass transit. Um, we go here to the data panel, uh, check the buildings, and now here you can see uh, where people work, where they live, what are their lesser places. So all these green areas are housing areas and the red ones are uh, workplaces. So it's kind of uh, natural to start thinking about, okay, should we actually start connecting these areas to each other? And I see a really uh, dense workplace here in one of the corners of the city. So what we're gonna start with is that we connect this workplace area to the uh, nearby housing area. Because in the sandbox we start with basically absolutely no public transportation. So people are walking or using their own cars to get to the place. That sounds horrible. Let's give them yes. some <laughs> public transit. <laughs> sounds like a plan. And, uh, but basically, what is the goal of the game other than just building those lines? It's, it's uh, the company values. So you're running a mass transit company, so you also have to think about the business side. Over here, uh, you can see uh, we have 100,000 to start with. Uh, the next to it is the reputation among the citizens. So we're now pretty much in the middle way. And of course, we're trying to increase that if the network allows. But so you can sort of choose if you want to be a renegade or a paragon, like you can be totally popular with the people, but the business side will be terrible because your prices are too low or something like that. Uh, or it could be so, it could be so. Basically uh, what we do check is in the economy panel, it's like we have weekly cash flow estimate and when we start to build we can see like how much money we're making weekly. And uh, But here uh, the... Uh, data panel shows the graphs, which is the company value. And the company value is the one that uh, kind of defines how well you are doing. So if you don't care about any other uh, values in the game, you should be interested in the company value. Uh, so basically, we start by building, uh, building lines here. And I'm going to keep this uh, layer showing so that it gives me the kind of idea that where should I actually build the line. Before we start with that, should yeah. we just uh, check uh, off the data part and just look at the graphics for a while? Of course, yeah. Oh, a little while, just so you can see what the game looks like without the data showing. Yeah. Uh, so we'll go to the map data and uh, this doesn't have to be active. You can just see it from here and then uh, click away from it. But basically this is uh, just a... Uh, this is the industrial area. Basic sorry. industrial area, you can see a little bit of grey houses, there's some warehouses and this is the place where people come to work. So if we check here, uh, it looks pretty much like a standard industrial area. But where are the people living then? We can see here the housing area, we have uh, small uh, detached houses and we can actually even go and check. So basically uh, we can see here who is living here. So there's Todd, Max and Stephanie residing in this house. Oh, none of those are a kid. So they're <laughs> just they're just pals living together. <laughs> is that weird? There no, might be maybe they're a couple and then they rent the upstairs apartment or something? Yeah, I hear it's like, and she's kind of uh, rocking the purple hair. Oh, I haven't even seen purple hair in game. So I mean, come on, it's like Carolina if you know her. Uh, I do know her. <laughs> I guess there's some, you know. Oh, uh, this could be like so much fan fiction written about Citizen Motion too. That is true, that is true. We have actually unique citizens, so basically you can stalk the people if you wish. So <laughs> if we just choose somebody and want to see, we can actually follow them. Oh no, there's nobody living here. But the uh, idea is that uh, you can actually see the unique citizens and where they work, where they live, where they are going. So. It's uh, Terry who lives in, uh, has left from the detached house somewhere and is going to an apartment building. And we can actually check like, okay, if you want to see where he's actually starting off, it's over here and uh, where he's going. So this all gives you an idea where to build the lines. But if you don't want to go into this much of If you don't want to stalk Terry for an entire day to just yeah. make sure that he goes where he says he's going, then you can actually build bus lines. Yeah, so basically or other mass we'll just uh, start by connecting the housing area to this work uh, or the industry area. 
And uh, I'm gonna start with the bus lines because I really think they are the easiest to start with. They are very affordable and uh, popular among the among the citizens. So one new feature we added are the depots. And uh, here you can see we have five different vehicle types. We have uh, buses, trolleys, trams, metro and uh, water buses. And just by clicking here, uh, the depot is the place where the um, vehicles are fixed and where they reside while they're not actually uh, on a line. So this is super simple. It just clicks on the um, road. So no worries there. We'll just add it here. And I have chosen an awesome pink color for my uh, uh, company color. So you can see it on the side there. You can go to the profile in the uh, main menu and choose your own colors. So basically we have now here the depot. What do we need next? Uh, the stops so that we can see where people can get on board of the bus. So we'll add the first one here and just keep going toward the um, industrial area. And uh, you can see the catchment area around the stop. So uh, you don't have to. So right now everything that's in the circle is like people can get, they will walk that distance to get yeah, to that stop. Exactly. So I'm just going to make a super simple circular line. So I'll uh, add a couple of stops here and then coming back. And you can go closer to if you want to see a bit more uh, where actually you're placing the stops. I'm using the very basic cheapest uh, type of stop at this point. OK, so here we go. And I'm going to make a couple of these stop still here so we can get those uh, residential areas <coughs> areas covered. Okay, uh, so now we have the depot and the stops. So this is the buses are the simplest way. Uh, in the transport panel we have the bus lines and we want to create a new line. So it opens up a new window here and then we just go to the add stops. Okay, so what do we do next is we want to um, add the depot. So this is where the buses start from. And then just by clicking uh, on the stops, we'll create the uh, bus line. And the stops are actually the same for trolley buses and the buses, so they can share the same stops. Oh, so people can switch between bus or trolley bus. Yeah, yeah, definitely just on the same stop. And it also kind of uh, decreases the amount of stops you have to put for these lines. Uh, and then, okay, if I now connect to the depot, uh, it will happen so that the bus will always make the round and then go back to the depot. Mm -hmm. But uh, I'm going to plan my system so that the uh, bus actually leaves from the depot according to the timetable and then keeps going on on the uh, route and then only after the shift come back to the depot. Oh! So I, from the last stop, I go to the first one on the line. Mm -hmm add it to the line and then go back to the depot. Oh, so this is the trick to make it so because you can also choose to have it, all the vehicles go back to the depot. But just by clicking on the first one on the line and then coming back to the depot, you make sure that the bus is actually running uh, on the line all the time. And here you can see uh, a little bit of estimates. Uh, how long does it take for the bus to uh, reach its fin final destination? Is that ours then? And this is ours. So okay. basically the uh, uh, one uh, 24 hours in the game uh, correlates to 48 minutes uh, real time. And so stops are there and you don't have to be alarmed by the last departure miss. We made it so that the, uh, after uh, putting the line together with the stops and the depot, uh, it starts running immediately. But what are we missing now are the vehicles. So I want to now check from the object info. Uh, the first one, okay, it says here that maximum vehicles needed is four. So this okay. gives an indication how many uh, vehicles I should have running on this certain line. So from the depot, I go uh, by vehicles. So all the vehicles are assigned to depot and you can have multiple lines from the same depot. So you can use actually the same vehicles on many lines during the day. Okay, so buy vehicles and here are our options and these are now in my company colors with the pink and green and as I said you can actually customize these in the main menu. Uh, 
this is my first line, so I'm gonna check out the vehicles a bit. Okay, the first one's purchase price is 400. And at this point, the next cheapest one is 800, and then it's already 1200, so I'm gonna go with the small one, because I'm just starting in my company, and I want to make sure that I have a couple of uh, profitable lines before I start doing anything bigger. So I'm gonna buy four of these, uh, just as it's indicated in the uh, bus line window. And that is calculated based on timetable or uh, like how many people that live on this place or... Uh, this is calculated so that how... Uh, because the estimated duration uh, for the line, it's 4 hours and 25 minutes for the bus to go to, uh, through this line. Okay. Uh, and come back to the first uh, station. So then uh, we have a default timetable. Okay. So I'm gonna buy these vehicles, they are now in the depot and we can actually see the first one going and don't be alarmed even if it's uh, giving you uh, information that the uh, last departure is missed because it takes a bit of time to actually buy the Oh my, it's sort of skittle half of the street there. So basically <laughs> there it goes. And I can actually uh, even click on it and start following it if I wish. So there we go. And there's already one unhappy passenger but he's unhappy because the uh, line started and it didn't have any buses there, but now the buses are starting to go, so you don't have to worry too much about the grumpy passengers at this point. So let the um, bus line just run through there and see if they start feeling a bit happier. People are very later. eager to get on mass transit in this game. They are, because <laughs> it's so... I mean, private motoring is super expensive. Exactly. You don't want to do that. Look, uh, now we have an awesome bus to go on instead. And about the timetables, uh, this is something that I wouldn't uh, highly recommend for newcomers to start uh, adjusting immediately because the game actually gives you default uh, timetables. But uh, just quickly, we can go back to this a little bit later on the stream, but uh, we have weekdays, then there's rush hours, morning rush, evening rush, uh, weekend, night, and then you can even make your own custom timetables exactly as you want. But the default timetable for me is absolutely fine. Every two hours there's a bus leaving from the depot. So I'm just gonna leave these be as they are and adjust this a little bit later on when I have more um, lines and vehicles going all around the city. So now we have the first uh, bus line over there. So what now I can check is go to the estimations and I have made uh, five amount of money with my tickets and it's still a little bit on the minus but there you see it starts to actually bring money rather quickly so don't be alarmed even if there's a little bit of uh, red to begin with uh, yeah right now we're making uh, plus 13 yeah so it's gonna look pretty good soon right <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, here you see the trolley buses and the uh, buses are actually sharing the same um, stops so the maintenance cost uh, maintenance cost is actually divided uh, so this is not a bug. This is actually supposed to be <laughs> as it is. Okay, so basically first bus line going. Uh, what I really want to show first off is we have here a pause uh, time button. So if you want to uh, spend time planning your routes, uh, you can actually stop everything in the city and just have everything going and then click uh, the normal time to start. Uh, we can also speed it up a little bit. Uh, we have fast and very fast. So now if we want to see how this um, weekly cash flow starts to go with the first bus line, we can actually uh, see that it's actually uh, starting to make pretty okay amount of money. But we'll go back to the normal time and start checking what else we can do in the city. Uh, the data panel is awesome because it actually gives you indications. So I was showing you the buildings earlier, where are the workplaces, but there's also coverage. So in the coverage we can actually see with the yellow that we have one line going there. And this gives you a good indication of uh, how much uh, of the city you're actually covering. And I would highly recommend that you start small, so you don't have to worry about the uh, bigger picture here um, on the sides. I think when starting small and starting to make profit, it makes more sense to invest on a bigger system. So don't be alarmed with the uh, big cities, because you can just concentrate on one part of it. Let the rest of them walk. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> basically so. 
Okay, so what can we do next? Uh, they are unhappy. Uh, let's check a little bit. Vehicle was late. So now what uh, options we have is to check on the transport panel, checking the line. Um, if the, uh, at this point the timetable, what we can do is uh, either uh, make the interval a little bit shorter, but I decide to get a little bit more uh, vehicles to the line, because if vehicle is late all the time, it could be that there's actually uh, actually not enough uh, buses running. So from the depot I go again purchase vehicles and let's just get uh, two more to run there. So now let's hope that the vehicles will start following the timetable because uh, of course if you don't have uh, enough vehicles in the depot they, there's no uh, buses to send uh, according to the uh, schedule so then you have to make sure that there's always enough vehicles for for the schedule that there is but we're gonna leave this one be for a little while and uh, now we're gonna make another line and it's gonna be another bus line <coughs> uh, and we have different kind of stops here we have the basic one uh, with a shelter and then a little bit more luxurious with even with a bench but the purchase price differs of course according uh, what you want but I'll still stay with the cheaper ones because I'm a beginner uh, mass transit company so I don't want to invest too much into infra at this point so I'll just uh, connect uh, more of the area and uh, I would, as I said, rather small areas, uh, short lines, they are way easier to manage than trying to actually at once uh, fill the whole, whole map with the infrastructure. Then you usually also end up getting a really big line. That is true. And then it takes time and then people are unhappy. So. Uh, now in the transport panel I go to the lines menu and I'm gonna create a new line and now as community asked we can also edit the lines so this will be uh, my express line to the city so it's M express there line number two and you can actually uh, edit all of these as well as the stop names and the depots if you want uh, this is rather detailed stuff, but it's kind of fun to check and customize your own um, your own system. So again, I'm gonna start with the depot with the bus line. Uh, it's the same depot that I had earlier, so I'm gonna click on that. Then I'm gonna go and check the other stops that I have here. And with the blue line, you can see actually the plant mm -hmm. uh, plant route. And again, I want it to actually circulate here and only afterwards come back to the depot and uh, now I actually share the same vehicles uh, with the line number one and line number two and from the object info I need maximum four vehicles uh, in average I need 2.4 so there should be now enough because there are six vehicles there should be enough vehicles for both of the lines so I'm not gonna touch that more at this point so now they are both running there and uh, you can also if you want to uh, shut down these um, lines uh, or, or that they are showing in the colors you just click on the icon and they disappear all at once or then from the lines you can do it uh, per each line but I'm just gonna let them show there so it makes it a little bit easier for me to plan the plan the routes and then again from the map I can actually see where where I have uh, the bus going. So now I have uh, the housing area and the working, uh, the industrial area connected. So we'll check again and we're making nice amount of uh, profit so I'll just let it be as it is. Mm -hmm.